from Americana to Zydeco, and everything in between. This is the Extended Play Sessions. Here I come again. Baby, here I come. I'm so lonely now, love, for my old friend. It's been so long, baby. I've lost all sense of time. Just one more time So here I come, baby Here I come I'm coming back home to stay, Lord Here I come again, baby Coming back for more I've always, had, I've always had to defend myself by being called in a blues singer. I mean, I'm, I'm a guy that sings the blues because y'all give me the blues, I said, but I'm not a blues singer. Oh, you know, I, mean, you know I, I sing a variety of stuff. I mean, you know I sent you stuff with my, with my friend from Iran, Master Fadat. That's war music. And, uh, and, and I mean, it's, it's totally different from anything I'd ever done, you know. So I, I've always tried to keep myself free. It's cost me a lot because a lot of people don't like free-spirited people, you know. You have to pay a price to be free. You, <laughs> you got to pay, baby, you know. And uh, But that's the way I've always done, been able to try to choose and make up my own mind about what I want to do with my song or my music and what songs I want to sing, et cetera, et cetera. So in some ways, having those kind of people around was good because it pushed me to make sure I got out and start my own publishing company uh, and make sure I have my business taken care of, that kind of stuff. So in some regards, they, they were good having those people around. But in my last days, I decided I'm going to do it my way or no way. You know, and so that's the way I've been doing it for quite some time, and I'm very happy with it. I wish I was making a lot more money, but, uh, <laughs> but I, I am happy with the freedom that I have to write and sing any kind of music I chose to. Don't have to ask the man, is it okay? You know, that's what you have to do when you sign with a lot of big record companies. They want to dictate what you're saying and how you sing, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera, because they're putting their money up, so they have a right to say something, and I understand that. You know, but uh, I'm enjoying my freedom right now because I'm, I'm, I'm doing lots of different kinds of music. Respect everybody that you run into. How in the world do you think anybody's gonna respect you? Well, oh, no. well if you don't give a damn about the man with that Bible in his hand, let me tell you one thing, son. Just get out the way and let the gentleman do his thing. Yeah. You the kind of gentleman who wants everything your way. No, no. Take the sheet off your face, boy. It's a brand new day. Cause if you don't respect yourself, ain't nobody gonna give a good girl. Respect yourself, no, no, no. Okay. Do you hear me? the world owe you something cause you here you going out the world black was like you did when you first come here you talk about the president won't stop evolution yeah. well put your hand over your mouth when you cough that will help the solution Yes, it will. You cuss around folks when you don't even know their names. Lord have mercy. And then you dumb enough to think that will make you a big old man. Uh -huh. Respect yourself. Respect yourself. Lord have mercy. 
commercial. Cause if you don't respect yourself, ain't nobody gonna give a good go. No, 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 no. Respect yourself. Respect one another. Respect one another. Respect your brother. Respect your sister. Respect your mother. Oh, you got to respect your father. What do we mean when we say the whole world? And some people mean the earth. But when I think about the whole world, I think about all that stuff out there that's so huge. And we just a little, you know, we just a little speck here floating around in that thing called the world, you know. And so if people say, well, the world's going to end, I don't see the world because maybe the earth might end, but I don't see this world coming to no end. You know, I, I, don't, I don't see how it's going to take place. But I think music has a big influence on, 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 on the world and the way people think, and thank God. Because uh, it's a universal language. I mean, I, I done been in a lot of countries, as you said, and and uh, and I find with people, I sit down and go eat dinner, go to people's houses, and, and I can't speak or understand a damn thing they're saying. But we could communicate with the music. It's amazing. It's amazing how powerful the music is. I don't care where you go, people relate to music. Relate to music. So music is a very, very powerful source. Very powerful. So I feel very blessed to have this voice. And this voice that I have, I mean, it, it, it's a gift because I, I didn't, I didn't go to school. I wouldn't train. Uh, you know, so n none of that. This is all. Oh, God given. And I recognize that. And that's why that song I wrote, Thank You. That's what that was about. I mean, like, wow, you know, yeah, man, thank you, you know, thank you. Because uh, I didn't, I, didn't, I really, you know, like I'm, 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 I'm amazed that I'm, I'm here today. Uh, uh, because uh, a lot of people that know me from the past thought I'd be dead now. I even thought myself I'd be dead at this point. So uh, I'm, 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 I'm living on borrowed time. I'm, 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 <laughs> I'm, a, I'm a blessed guy. I really am. Show 
me that you've always been here for me, love. So let me testify. Let me tell somebody about your love, how you pick me up and you clean me up. Thank you, ladies and gentlemen. Huh? All right. Mark your calendar. July 12th at the Main State Pier in Portland, Shipyard Brewing Company is putting on the party of the season, the Shipyard Summerfest. It's a free concert with a whole day of bands and food and fun. All thanks to these great folks. Wrap it all up the next day with the Old Port Half Marathon and 5K. Don't miss it. 
the Shipyard Summerfest, July 12th at the Main State Pier in Portland. One, one of the biggest moments in my life was when I, I started getting paid. And the first... <laughs> you mean, they really pay you in this damn business, you know? <laughs> that, was, that, was, that was probably... <laughs> I, I was at home one day, and I was watching 20th Century Fox television. And, and, and this is, this is, I mean, it was amazing. And the phone rang, and it was 20th Century Fox. I heard my answer machine came on, it was 20th Century Fox. And it's scared to live in daylight side of me. I didn't even pick up the phone. I was too scared to pick up the phone. So I'm watching 20th Century Fox, and my phone rings, and this is 20th Century Fox. <laughs> Calling for Sam McClain. He just scared the scared squad out of me, you know. <laughs> you know. So I let them leave the message and call up my breath. And uh, my wife had left that morning. She's going to work. And uh, I picked up the phone and called them back, and they started telling me how long David Kelly, who's the, the writer and, and producer of that show, how long he been trying to find me because he really loved my song, New Man in Town. And asked me if I was interested in it. Am I interested? No, not me. You know, and I know I'm not. Of course I'm interested. And so we talked and we dealt and we made a deal. And then we hung up and they called me right back about two hours later. They wanted to make another deal. And they called me right back again that afternoon, I guess about, about one o'clock, just before my wife came home, we made another deal. And so that particular morning, my wife left home going to work at 8 o'clock. She got back about 1. I had made $37,000 <laughs> in three phone calls. And I had the proof there, because every time we make a deal, they'd fax me over confirmation. You know, so that's when I started feeling real good about this shit. Then, <laughs> <laughs> That's all 
I've been hit the blues all my life. My mama just wouldn't, wouldn't allow me to sing them around the house. But uh, I've been, I mean, I would listen to, I would listen to uh, WLAC out of Nashville, Tennessee, old radio station, uh, John Richbird and uh, Hoss Allen. And uh, they, they were playing all the stuff back then. They were, they were playing hardcore blues from Highland Wolf to, to the mellow stuff like Little Willie John, Clyde McFadder, people like that. So I would listen to all that kind of stuff. And, uh, and I started singing all that kind of stuff. But my mother was a church going lady and uh, she wasn't gonna tolerate no blue singing in her house you know <laughs> you know but she didn't stop it you know because I, I always sung up under my breath I kept on doing it so I kind of been I've been attracted to this stuff all my life, all my life. we call it showtime While the soldiers, they keep on warring. Till I reach my highest ground. You heard me, man. Last time in life, I have a little bit 
Take you higher this evening. Higher, higher, higher. I wanna take you higher. 